my channel. In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm sharing my December favorites. Last month was Vlogmas, so all month we did vlogs, but I couldn't leave you guys hanging. These are our favorite videos, so of course I had to bring you my favorites from the last month of last year. But I had so many things that I loved. So if you would like to see all the goodies that I'm loving, then please keep watching or that I was loving. <laughs> now, first things first, if you guys aren't subscribed, why not? You clearly keep coming back. You clearly like the content. So go ahead and subscribe. I put up videos twice a week and I focus on beauty, fashion, luxury, lifestyle, a little sprinkle of everything. And while you're at it, like the video. So you guys may not know, but liking videos helps YouTube let the algorithm know what videos to recommend to you. It also helps to boost my channel to other viewers. So I would appreciate it so much. And of course, all your support, no matter if you're just watching, commenting, liking, engaging, what have you, I appreciate it. So let's get into the good stuff. Okay, so in December, we had a very interesting month. December was full of vlogs, so it wasn't really focused on beauty for me, so I don't have too much beauty. Let's start with that. Now, the first item I want to share, <sighs> baby, I rediscovered this and I'm just so happy that I did. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and I have it in the shade 10 Neutral. So this is actually what I'm wearing today and previously when it was warmer outside, I was wearing the NARS Soft Matte Complete but now that I'm back on my Charlotte Tilbury, I just feel so beat. Like, like who is this Glamazon? I feel so flawless and full coverage. Now what I will say is that this does tend to settle into my fine lines. Like I have a line on my forehead, I probably need some Botox, but I'm trying to wait until I'm in my 40s. I also have smile lines on the sides of my mouth and you know, I grow a little bit of peach fuzz. And so this definitely clings to any fine lines and peach fuzz. So you really wanna make sure that you're using a good primer. I don't per se, use a primer but I use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I actually shared this on my Instagram a few days ago and someone was like, what? She makes shades for us? Yes, beauties. So I know when I first got into Charlotte Tilbury, I thought it was not a brand for deeper skin tones, but she actually has quite an extensive shade range. Now, finding your perfect shade is a bit hard. So I will place down below a few of my other shades and various foundations, but this just makes me look so flawless. Like, I'm happy to be using again. So shout out to the good girl, Charlotte. We love her on this channel. Okay, my next beauty item I wore a few times during Vlogmas and while I was out, I got compliments and you guys loved it as well. It is none other than my Pat McGrath lipstick in the color Elson. This is probably my favorite like lipstick lipstick, like not liquid lipstick or anything in the shade red. It is so beautiful. It's a really nice blue based red. It makes your teeth look really white. The form formula is really, really creamy and matte and opaque. The only thing is that I find Pat McGrath matte trans lipsticks to be a bit thick. So sometimes I have to blot a little of the color off, but this shade is fabulous. It is perfect for Christmas and New Year and winter overall. I love this shade so much. It's definitely my favorite red. And when I wore it last month, I was like, why don't I pull her out more? So shout out to you, Pat McGrath. That is a staple. And the last makeup item, I told you guys, Guys, it was not a makeup heavy month, it is actually a new product. So this is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 307. Now, whenever I go to link this, I cannot find it. I received this from one of my friends who works for Giorgio Armani, so it is possible that this has been discontinued. I will link something from the line that's similar, but what I love most about this is the formula. I have this lipstick in shade 201 Dark Velvet, and whenever I wear that, you guys are like, oh my gosh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Because it has a shine to it, but it feels very comfortable on your lips and it is long wearing. Now they promote this as being matte, but it is not matte to me. <laughs> it definitely uh, has a bit of shine on the lips, I think. I wore it out last month when I went to the drag show for my friend's birthday and I just felt so incredibly beautiful. If you are a woman of color or if you just love a good bright pop, 
you need this. So I will link something similar if I cannot find it, but the color is 307 and it is a coral. If you like a liquid lipstick, but you find them to be way too drying, check this formula out. Huh, love it. Okay, now let's get into fragrance because I have a lot to share. First, I want to share a fragrance that I was actually sent to review from Skylar Clean Beauty. So I did receive this complimentary to review for you guys. And this is their newest fragrance, Peach Fields. Now I have a hard time opening it. Here we go. This is a beautiful, fresh, ripe peach with green notes. I love this. I do have another one of their scents in vanilla and it's not my favorite, but I love this. Y'all know I'm a Georgia peach. I love everything peach scented and flavored. And this is really nice. I don't think I have probably any peach fragrances, so this is my first. It is very light, yes. It does not have the best longevity, correct. But if you mix this with something heavier, I think you would like it. If you tend to go for a more interesting, rich scent profile. But this is gonna be so pretty for spring. Like I said, it is a fresh, green tart peach very very nice I love it it's also from a clean beauty brand so we love that as well so once again thank you to Skylar Beauty for sending this over for review purposes it is called peach fields and you can get it from Sephora okay my next scent you guys knew this was gonna be on this list it is my Jesus scent shout out to Jesus he was the reason for the season last month and I got so much wear out of this this is Joe Malone's myrrh and Tonka now every time I call this my Jesus scent you guys laugh at me but but they talk about myrrh and frankincense in the Bible and I feel like this is what Jesus smelled like. He definitely, he definitely smelled like this. So when I wear this, I just feel filled with the spirit and to me, this is the scent of Christmas along with another scent I'm going to share in a moment. But this is beautiful. It actually does last quite a bit of time. Um, this is a cologne intense, so it's not the traditional line from Jo Malone. I love this. It's woodsy, it's peppery, it's sweet. It has lavender and myrrh and tonka. It has a fresh spiciness to it with that lavender. It's very masculine leaning, I think. So if you don't like the unisex scent, you probably won't like it but I don't find that it's too too masculine I think it sits right in the middle it's beautiful and it's what Jesus would have worn so like obviously it's a winner okay my next scent speaking of fragrances of Christmas this is the scent of Christmas besides smelling like Jesus I acquired this last year I think I got it for last Christmas and I love it so much it is my only Byredo scent because y'all know how I feel. Byredo is totally overhyped and overpriced, but when a scent is good, it's good. And sometimes things may be overpriced and they may not last long, but if you love it, it's worth it. This is the Byredo 11th Hour, and to me, this smells like Christmas morning. It smells like carrots and tomatoes and spices and pine very fresh it's a little bit citrusy and i know as i'm like naming these notes you're thinking girl what the hell and why would i want to smell like that but i'm telling you something about this is so nostalgic and that's why i love it as you can see i've had it for a year and i've probably used it three or four times it has horrible longevity it lasts for probably two hours maximum and this was not a cheap fragrance but it's very nostalgic it reminds me of christmas so i only really wear it around this time of year and it just smells like Christmas morning cooking and being by the Christmas tree and family and togetherness I love it it's so so beautiful but I could see why this would turn people off yeah you have to love this and connect it to a memory I think to like it because it's not something that's just like so overwhelmingly beautiful it's definitely just for the nostalgia but I love that okay my next scent is another one that was in heavy rotation last month and this is Maison Francis Kirk Jean's Grand Soir oh this baby is just so sexy this is amber and tonka and vanilla yeah maybe a little bit of incense it's a smoky sweet ambery deep scent now i always say if you ever get a sample or if you're ever at a counter spray this on your skin because the first time i tried it i sprayed it on the tester paper because i actually bought samples from mfk and i hated it it smelled like stetson my grandfather it was so like pungent i, I could not stand it 
but somebody said spray it on your skin and that is where the magic happens truly with this scent. This reminds me of lighting cigars in my backyard and having a libation and enjoying myself, maybe going to the mountains with my friends. It's just a sweet, cozy, yummy scent. I love it so much. Everyone else on YouTube is in love with By the Fireplace by Replica. This is that scent for me. It is just like, whew. Okay, it's just sexy and everything and it just makes you wanna be all snuggled up cozy with someone or not. It's just a beautiful, lovely scent, but be sure to try it on your skin because otherwise you'll probably hate it, but I love it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, she's a good one or he, he's a good one. Okay, my last scent that I'm gonna share is a newer one also and I got this from my friend who works at Giorgio Armani, Rouge Malachite. Now I'm including it in this video because I did receive it in December, but I'll also be including it in my large beauty haul later this month because if I can talk about this scent every week, I'm going to. Rouge Malachite is the creamiest, dreamiest tuberose scent I have ever tried. This is my first of the Armani Privé collection and I want to run over to Neiman Marcus right now to smell the entire line. But when I tell you this is amazing, it is not a white diamonds tuberose. A white diamonds tuberose is very sharp and very, very floral. This is creamy and musky and velvety. It just smells like elegance and wealth like not just rich, but like wealth, like old money. And the woman is wearing diamonds and a fur stole and she is just like very just dainty and understated, but she makes a statement when she walks in the room without saying anything. That is who this scent is because the scent is a person clearly. Oh, it's creamy musky tuberose. Now, it doesn't last the longest on my skin. But because it's so amazing, I don't care. Like I said, some scents, they don't have to perform that well, but this is a scent that I think is really nice, even though it sits closer to the skin for me. Whew, such a good one, for sure. Okay, let's get into skincare and body care. First is a body wash. You all know that I have gone body wash crazy. I'm not sure why or how it's happening, but here we are. So my newest acquisition is the Native Body Wash in Candy Cane. And I will have to say, I'm highly, highly, highly impressed with Native's body wash. I was not expecting much. This is the best lather of a body wash that is not like mid-range or higher end. Now this honestly might be like a mid-range because I wanna say it's like 10 to $15, but this is so amazing. The lather is everything. Now the candy cane scent, it's a little too artificial for me. There's something very citrusy about it that I don't like, but it's the texture of this that I can't get enough of. If you have never tried Native Body Washes, please check them out. I purchased mine from Target and I will for sure be buying more. Things for me either have to have the perfect texture or the perfect scent because I'm really particular about things like that and it's the texture for me. Okay, next is actually a product that surprised me. This is the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum, which is their high hyaluronic acid. I actually received this complimentary from the brand to promote a sale they were having online. And at first I was like, this is $88. I don't even want to try it because I don't want to have to buy it. And I will say that it is really good. Now, would I purchase this again with my own money? Probably not. I just don't think you need to spend $88 on a serum. But if you don't mind, spending that much and you like Osea overall, definitely try this out. It really makes your skin feel so hydrated. The texture is really, really nice. I like the dropper mechanism. The only con is that it's so expensive. My last skincare item is from the brand Eye Image Skincare or just Image Skincare. And I actually picked this up when I got my facial during Vlogmas. I'll link that vlog down below. I picked this up from Heyday, which is in Dunwoody, but they also have a location in Midtown and there's one coming soon to Crog Street in downtown. So this is the Ormetic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. This is like a lip mask. It almost reminds me of the lip mask from Laneige that everybody 
goes goo goo for gaga over. I don't really care for that too much. I feel like it hydrates your lips in the moment, but the moment that it absorbs and dissipates, it's like <sighs> moisture wear. I really like this. Now, this uh, quarter of an ounce was $25, so I doubt I'll be purchasing it again, but it is really nice. It feels very lightweight yet hydrating. It's almost like a gel. It does have a shine to it. So if you don't like a shine on your lips for your lip balm, you may not like it. I really do enjoy this. It's very pricey though, but it does work. Probably won't purchase it again, but for what it is, I like it. Okay, now let's get into our miscellaneous. First, I have to talk about coffee because coffee is a huge part of my mornings. Last month, I started using my holiday coffee and I always love peppermint pinwheel from Nespresso. If they are still selling it, I will of course link it down below. That is my favorite holiday variety because you can actually taste the limited edition flavor. Like the gingerbread one, I can't taste, but the peppermint pinwheel, Oh, I love it. So I've been enjoying that pretty much for the past month. I really, really like that. Um, but they are limited edition, so I will link it down below. It's probably going to be disappearing from the website soon. Second is going to be my Moroccan mint green tea. Shout out to my girl, Coco McQueen. I'll link her channel down below. She always buys these from Trader Joe's. I'm trying to get more into drinking tea. That's what my whole family drinks. I'm the only oddball that drinks coffee, and I do feel like tea is a bit more natural and so this has been my gateway into tea I really really enjoy this it's Moroccan mint green tea it's very fresh and herbal I pretty much only like herbal teas uh, yeah I'm, I'm probably what you would call basic and that's okay <laughs> because we're getting there okay next is a pair of socks <laughs> And I know you're probably thinking, girl, why the hell are you talking about a pair of socks? But these are not just any socks. These are, they're a masterpiece. Bamba's socks. I purchased them during vlog, well, thank you, daddy. He purchased them for me during Vlogmas and I've been obsessed. I never thought I would care about a sock because like, it's just a sock. I don't even really wear socks because I don't like shoes that require them. But the thing that makes these socks so amazing besides the fact that they're like padded back here by your by the back of your ankle and they're so high quality is they have compression. So I don't know if you can see how this is like, you can tell it's a little more loose, but right here, there's compression. And so these socks give your feet support. Now it's not gonna feel like you're wearing like Spanx or anything, but it just makes you feel really nice. And I never thought I would care about an expensive sock. I'm gonna buy a pair a month. So I purchased these from Nordstrom. I'm supportive of an expensive supportive sock, but have I reached that level of like maturation where I care about a sock? I think I have. I'm taking a homebody and my athleticism to a new level. I wear these every week when I go to stretch zone. Hopefully the guy that stretches me out enjoys them as well. I am obsessed. It's a sock. <laughs> okay, my next favorite is going to be the Taylor Farms Buffalo Ranch Salad Kit. And I have to give a shout out to my girl Peyton Charles. I will link her channel down below. You guys know that I found her a few months ago and I have been obsessed with her channel. And she eats these Buffalo Ranch Salads. Now y'all know that combines two of my favorite things to eat because I love hot wings. Hello, I live in Atlanta. And I also really love ranch. And I've never found a buffalo ranch dressing that was tasty because like I'm really particular about salad dressing like I am apparently with everything. But this buffalo ranch salad kit is so amazing. When my family was visiting for the holiday season, they were eating it and they liked it because they said that I make boring salads because I only use lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and carrots and onions. Like. That's it. They were sick of my boring salad, so I let them try the Buffalo Ranch kit. Everyone in my family is now hooked. I have also tried other salad kits and I really like them because they include really nice accoutrements, like they have cheeses and croutons and different little wafers. I don't know what you'd call them. They also have seasoning, and you guys know that I love to season my lettuce. Shout out to Kendra. So the Taylor Farm salads are amazing. I told them that we need the salad dressing sold separately because I will buy the Buffalo Ranch in cases. Yeah, we need them. And my last favorite from December was definitely Vlogmas. Y'all, we had 
such a great time this past year. I don't know what it was about this year, but I felt like I could be my authentic self. When I sit down to do content videos like this, it's like there's a certain level of professionalism because this is who I am professionally. Like you get to see my personality, but it's toned down and I'm just focusing on the education portion of it because that's what I love. I like probably was a teacher in a former life. But during Vlogmas, I really got to just have fun, be myself. And I shared that with you guys and you all were open to it and accepting of it and we had the best time. I frolicked my way through the city all month. It was very tiring, but I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed gathering with friends and family and loved ones and chatting with you guys each and every day. So Vlogmas was definitely a favorite of December. And so I wanna thank you guys once again for a very, very great and successful Vlogmas because I enjoyed it so, so much. So guys, that's everything that I have to share today. Let me know if you guys love any of these or if you're gonna try them or what you were loving this past month. I love you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.